What's up, Keep Pounding Nation? We're back with today with another video. Keep Pounding! So we're back with halftime here, and this game is, well, this game. What else do you expect? I mean, everything's just going wrong for this team. You know, we're, we're looking at another blowout. Tank it out, you know. And uh, Samuel, for once, doesn't have Brooks for hands. Got to be happy with that, right? Christian McCaffrey's doing his thing. Luke Eakley's doing his thing. Ross Cockrell's got more energy than half the defense. Oh, wait. Where's the rest of the defense? We've already given up 21 points. And one of those was a punt return for a touchdown. <laughs> can we just can we just take a second to just appreciate how marvelous that is? <laughs> and I'm being as sarcastic as possible when I say that. Because I know how people are on the internet that can't understand sarcasm. So I'll say it again. How wonderful! We gave up a punt return for a touchdown. I didn't realize how bad this team was until I saw that. Now we're really in trouble. We really need a re retool of this team bad. If we gave up that. Three penalties on a punt return. And we have to re-kick it and give up the touchdown. To a backup running back. This guy's not even a starter. He's a backup running back. <laughs> All I can do is laugh. All I can do is laugh, guys. Like, come on. I mean... This team's making me insane. What I tell you before I knew this running back was going to get 100 yards I knew it what I tell you in the preview and I know I'm a little bit late getting that up but you know uh, family emergency and such but it's been a rough week don't mind my appearance this game is Exactly what you think it's going to be. We give up thousands and thousands and thousands of rushing yards to not even average running backs. Dude, a high school running back could plow through that, that line and get seven yards. Like, that's how pathetic it is. We just let Jacoby Brissett get 20 yards rushing against it. That is pathetic. That is pathetic. I honestly don't even think that even if Shaq was in, that would still make a difference. I think he would get blocked too. Nobody could get off their blocks. Nobody can get over to the middle and, and handle their business. Like, they're just getting pushed around like a bunch of playground bullies. Messing with kids, you know? It, it's embarrassing. It really, really is. Then you've got... Uh, Trey Turner allowing a sack. Good old reliable Trey Turner that we thought we could count on. Giving up a sack. Really, man? Since when did you turn into a revolving door? Oh, and not to mention our play calling in, in the red zone. You got Scott Turner calling a play where Will Greer rotates to the right to try to find Greg Olson. What in God's green earth made you think that he was not going to be double coveraged in the red zone and in the end zone? Like, 
what made you think he wasn't going to get double covered? <laughs> I called that from a mile away. Find another target. It's called audibling. No one's heard of that concept on this management team? Like, honestly. How long have you quarterbacks been in college? You've been audibling all your life and you, you get up to the NFL and you don't even use it at all? You're just like, oh, okay, we're just going to go with the design play and just hope hope to God it works. <laughs> and if not, Christian McCaffrey is our fail-safe. Well, what happens if Christian McCaffrey gets put on the sideline, huh? What happens then? What happens if Curtis Samuel gets bricks for hands, Christian McCaffrey's on the sideline, Greg Olson is doubled, DJ Moore is your only hope. And he just got almost had a concussion today. We're, we're not even sure if he has a concussion yet or not. That's our offense? And then we got to rely on Chris Hogan to be our savior that comes off of our bench? <laughs> Good luck moving the ball. I, I don't see it. I mean, Bonavon could probably move it like about 30 yards, but that's about you're going to... That's all you're going to see in a half. I just saw some of the laziest tackle attempts I've ever seen. And I'm just going, where is our energy? Where's our motivation? When I say play at 110% on the field, I don't mean let's miss tackles, let's be lazy out there. I mean, at least play with some freaking en energy and passion. At least go out there and try. Don't be like, oh, well, we're throwing the game anyway. So I might as well just suit up and just stand there. No, man, you're playing for money. Act like it. Show some dignity, for goodness sakes. Your football players in the National Football League, show some dignity. Show some pride in the fact that you wear that uniform. And at least give 100% on the field. When Ross Cockrell has more energy than half our defense, that's embarrassing. And Ross Cockrell wasn't even a starter up until like halfway through the season. Get it together. I at least expect a fight out of this team every game. Even if we're tanking, I expect at least a fight. And I'm not seeing it. And it's really ticking me off. I don't know about y'all, but it's really ticking me off. Coach Fuel's not the answer. Oh, and by the way, announcers, please announce his name correctly. And Luke's name too. It's just hard to find good help these days in announcing, isn't it? Anyway. Uh, Will did okay. I'm not going to say great. He did okay. Um, there were a few moments where he should have got rid of the ball instead of taking the sack. You know, but... Or shouldn't have thrown it into a crowd. But what quarterback in our roster hasn't done that yet? You know? So, honestly, I'm not really complaining that much. But we got to step it up. Put up a fight. This is just straight embarrassing. The fans are not having it. Luke's not having it. You can tell. You could see it in his face when he was into the locker room. That man was pissed. So, where does that energy go? Huh? Where does that energy go to? It certainly doesn't go to the weight room, I can tell you that much, because these guys get pushed around more than... More than... Uh, I don't know. I can't even think of a reference. All these guys need to hit the weight room. All of them. 
Because none of y'all can do anything. Strength wise. You. If this was a contest of just strength alone. We would lose by a mile. Just. Just by the lines. And just pushing people. Anyway. Second half. So. All I got left to say is keep pounding.